Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. I am Paradoxos and we are back with the Succession series. Last time we left off, we we are on our second turnaround. Um, so this would be there's six, seven, eight. This is the ninth part altogether. So last time we had, we actually played, um, we had a son, we had an heir, um, we had betrothed our oldest daughter to the Lord of Old Town. Now it seems that there's a couple changes that happened. Now we purposely don't know what the last person has done. We are doing this on purpose, so we go in blind. Um, I think it makes it more interesting that way. Um, so we just give ourselves a little hints about dumb stuff that happens. And um, one hint I was given was to watch out for a particular uh, particular commander that we have in our court. Now I'm going to look at that real quick just so I can see before I forget. Uh, I can see it already. Uh, it says a little orange thing glowing right there. Well, not necessarily glowing, but it's orange. Uh, he has a dragon egg. So this guy has no family. Um, he actually has a dragon. Oh, yeah, sheep stealer. It's a pretty good dragon. Um, so yeah, he dry, he dies without family. We are going to inherit this egg. So that looks more than likely gonna happen. So that's pretty cool. Um, our family has grown a little bit. We did have a daughter that happened to be beheaded by Lady Paramount Cassandra. I don't know if that was the reason for this war. That I can see we're in. We actually won the war. So are we the? Oh wow. So, there's a war against the tyranny of Lady Paramount Cassandra, and it just started in 8151. It's only been for seven months and already lost. I don't know if he made a beeline right to the capital and seizure down. There has been battles. So, uh, it looks like we won or lost one battle, one pretty big battle, but that's been about it. So, it seems like most of the Stormlands were against her, um, other than like. You know, this little area right here. Actually, seeing that she has most of the Stormlands under her. I just guess we've gotten um, a couple of the big dogs that we needed to uh, win this war. Now, we looks like we have an ally of somebody. Uh, we have the Tarleys, okay. So they can, they can muster a good amount of men, and they're right next to us. That was really my first choice of an ally, but <clears throat> the High Towers have a little bit more men, but... Let me see what happened with this. So we had our oldest daughter betrothed to the Lord. There he is right there. So I guess he got disinherited somehow. Let's see real quick under the history. Yeah, okay. So that, that worked out for the better then because that would have sucked if we would have wasted a potential alliance on a person with no land. So we are still in the um, Alchemist Guild. I don't think we've built... Um, yeah, and I'm the Alchemist Guild. Could have thought, I could have swore that we built that, but I guess not. Yeah, it's a lot of money. There's no way we would have built that already. When was this given to us? Can we check? I don't think you can see this, the time it was. We haven't progressed, really. Because we're not getting that many uh, society currency a month. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see. So, this is Tyranny War. We're going to end this um, now. Because at 100, there's nothing else really, really that can come of it. Um, we'll go ahead and offer peace. We only have 25 minutes, so we need to get this going. Uh, we'll enforce demands. What can we do? We can depose her for in favor of her heir. So, I think you can also be like a Lord Protector, but it's it's kind of pointless. Yep. So, you've managed to defeat the forces of Cassandra Baratheon and are now left with the choice on what to do with the rule of the Stormlands. So we could force her to abdicate. We could roll a Lady Bear about Stead as Lord Regent. Yeah, I've done this part before, and I, I think it's pointless because like they still can do like shit. Like if they wanted to replace you, all that crap. I just really think it's dumb. Uh, doing this one. So we're gonna abdicate and hope that there's not a truce put against us through him, because it seems that we have a claim on something. I seen. Yeah, we have a claim on Pottingfield. It looks like they actually went to war for it at one point. There's actually a truce right now. So, I think what they did is went to truce unless Pottingfield had Harvest Hall. And that's what happened. Uh, and then a white piece. Yeah, she probably told him to stop. That's probably what this whole thing is over. So, at least we can go back to war over that. But we do have a truce for seven years. Jesus, how old is this guy? 33. We might have to kill him. Uh, we're going to abdicate 
just make the kid take over. It's a lot easier dealing with a kid, even though he's not that young. He's 13. Um, yeah. You're gonna abdicate. Sandra Baratheon has had badge in hand of the king removed from her, their treasury. Um, alright. So, we have 13-year-old Gavin now. He's in hiding, so we'll see when he comes out of hiding what we can do with him. Um, so I'm pause. Let's go ahead and drop these guys. Uh, thanks to you, Lord Paramount Gowan. Gowan, however you say his name, now rules as the rightful Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. The Lord Paramount cannot currently rule in his own right, however, so naturally you assume regency and title Lord Protector of the Stormlands. It is only right that we ga guide the Lord Paramount. So that's actually a little better because he can't really do much as a kid. Now when he takes uh, over as an adult, that's a different story. So he's out of hiding. I wonder if we can make him marry our daughter, or betrothed to our daughter. She's only a year old, but uh, let's see. She doesn't have. Let's just put. Oh my God, she's slow. She's slow, and she has a, a bit of a rash. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we make him? I don't know if we can just tell him to do it. He still is Lord Paramount. Um, no. Mainly because she's sick. So maybe if we get rid of the uh, the rash. It's not so much as he's slow. It's just she's got a bit of a rash. Alright, so now we're at Castellan at least. And we are the regent of the Stormlands. Mm, I don't know if there's really much we can do with this. Claim potting field. But we could do that against the damn dude. So, as I see here, we're in a tree. So that really sucks for seven years. It does move down the realm authority, so now they can't just tell us to stop uh, going to war. Hold on. This is supposed to be moved down, I thought, unless it was on high already. There's no way. If it, was it on high already? God damn. That's going to suck. All right, so why is Dorn up here? Uh, because the princess passed. All right, well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, maybe we can get this done while we're regent. Maybe that won't matter. So let's see if we can um kill him. 242%. Hopefully we're able to uh, get this done in this episode here. There's going to be a lot of people. Probably, oh, good. There's one that's 120 and we don't have to pay for her. Is she a drunk is the case? No. Nobody's drunk that I can see. So that's good. We don't have to worry about blabbermouths. People will still tell every once in a while, but usually... It, they're uh, due to them being a drunk. Now, we do have the former lady of the Stormlands in captive. I don't think she's worth anything now, but like 10 gold. Yeah. Sucks that she's not worth more money. All right, let's just get some time go by and see what happens. Now, we can imprison this dude, one of our vassals. He wants to replace our spy master. Um, let me see what we have in the council real quick. Stellan, um, you are trying to get Kingsgrave. We'll keep you there. Chain, train the child. That's good. Collect taxes. We'll put you back in overseeing the realm. We don't really need to improve defenses right now. Do we have a better... You know, I'm going to replace him for this guy, our vassal, because he has um, Brilliant Steward, which will get us plus 10% on the tax money because we don't really make much money. It looks like Night Song is our best... Bet in taxes. Lord of Boot, I regret to inform you that I've decided to remove you from your council. See, this is what I don't understand. Like, how can this kid remove you? This is why that, that doing the, uh, being the regent and Lord Protector thing's a sham in this. <laughs> uh, whilst you have ably served in your position, you have deemed another person more suitable to sit in your place. So, uh, that happened to me before. That's why I never did that, uh, like the tyranny thing's fine and, um, replacing them. But the whole Lord Protector, Castellan thing is, is such a shame. Like, I don't even think we're a regent anymore. Yeah. Like, how do you just remove your regent? I don't know. Anyways, Lord Paramount Daron the Handsome usurped the title Dragonstone from Lord Aegon of Skeen. Of Skeen? So I guess the, Tar the Targaryens uh, colonized Skeen. Is there a lot of, uh, looks like there's a couple Targaryens that rule. This one rules over Dragonstone. 
Who has the uh, Riverlands? House Pile? It looks like a lot of stuff happened since last time. Alright, uh, that's fine. We don't really have to worry about that. It looks like our son is married to a Targaryen. Oh, wow. Alyssa Targaryen. Bright. I mean, um, quick. Attractive. And she's a dragon rider. Who's her dragon? That's pretty cool. Nice. Has he just got married? I guess not. Alright, um, our lover has become pregnant with child. She is genius. I think people are trying to, uh, whoever did this is doing the, uh, eugenics thing and trying to get us a, uh, genius kid. Mmm. Nice. So we got Kingsbury right off the bat. It's nice that it isn't that much money either. So 38 gold. We'll definitely take that. Does the same person have it that... Do we have a truce with this person? I guess it would be with Dorn. Now... We can take this right away, but I'm going to make sure we have the men. So, she has 10,000 men. We have almost five right now. If we let our thing get up to where it's supposed to be, and then bring in Tarly, we should be okay. Uh, Della Mooton offers to teach you a game called Savas that she learned from some merchants at the end. Uh, blah, blah, blah. She's spending too much time with foreigners. Should know better. I'd be delighted. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, are we proud? No, I guess this would get us proud. Proud's really pointless other than getting prestige. We'll just go with it. You think you're starting to get the hang of Savas? Della wants to challenge you to a game. You should have known better than to play Savas against the woman who taught you everything you knew. Della crushed you completely. So, we can get satisfied our chance of becoming Roth. Mmm... It'll bring down our already low intrigue and diplomacy, so we'll just let it go. My co-conspirator Lester let me know that Lord Raymond of Pottingfield will die by poison wine upcoming banquet. So, oh wow, it's pretty high up there. What is our spy master doing? He's in Stormant. Alright, so, how much would he give us? Extra 15. We'll just bring him there for now. Just maybe it'll help out a little bit. Potting field, yes. Alright. Hopefully this works. Lord Arthur of Langward Hall accepted King Jaehaerys with the Iron Throne Peace Offer. So hopefully... Uh, we were discovered. Damn it. Alright, we didn't get this on... Um, deceitful, at least. We are dishonorable, though. So I don't know how it's going to look. All our basils pretty much don't like us. Who cares? We don't need them to like us. Alright. So, we're going to go ahead and try to get this one done right now. He's only got a thousand and some change. He doesn't have any alliances. So, we'll see if this boy, Lord Paramount, tells us to stop or not. I mean, he has the power to, I guess. So... More than likely, if he tells us to stop, we're going to have to. But at least we have that uh, one down there. Let's go ahead and get this done real quick. So, yeah, we're, we're over one. And I really wanted to not be over one just because of the money. We really don't make that much money as it is. So, I'd rather get the money that we're losing... But in the same sense, like, I don't want to give it to my son and lose the ability of using our Dragon Rider. Because that's probably be our one secret weapon there against Dorn if we're a little under when it comes to manpower. Who is this person? Dawson, uh, Dawson Keith. So, King Jaehaerys, who is the son of Aegon II. He's got a couple bags under his eyes. He is a Dragon Rider. What dragon does he have? His wife's dead. So I guess he hasn't remarried. He has no kids. So this is going to pass on to Bayman. who's another son of Aegon. Who is also a genius attractive dragon rider. Who is married to a bastard Targaryen from the same father. Who's his dragon? Blackfire. That's pretty cool. Alright. 
enough of Targaryens. We need to worry about our own stuff. So we have Alyssa on the one side. We have this other Dragon Rider guy. And then I guess we'll just put us. Hopefully he doesn't stop this. I don't know if he has the power to as a kid or not. How are we with the region here? Because I think it'd be left up to him, if anything. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to waste that much money. We don't have that much money as it is. I just don't want to waste the, man, the men fighting him for him to be like, stop. Alright, he's going to Star Pike. I really just want to hit his men real quick before we siege. Daron the Handsome has created a title, High Lordship of Dragonstone. I like the golden dragon thing. It's the Aegon the second thing. He's pretty good too. I forget his uh yeah, Tessarion the Blue Queen. It's probably the most powerful dragon around other than sheep stealer, unless cannibals still out there. I can only imagine how Ember Ember uh, Ember Leah must feel as being unable to publicly declare our feelings for each other it was not enough. She must now lie about the fruit of our love. I don't know why. She doesn't have a, a husband or anything. Uh, news from the Battle of Starpike, my lord. Your courtier, Sir Byron Karen, has been slain. He was killed in direct combat by enemy commander, Sir Raymond Tuckwell. That sucks. That guy's pretty good. Alright. Winter is coming, so I don't think that really bothers us too much being close to dawn. So when we get this, we're definitely going to be over. <laughs> so I think we might have to do something about that. This must have been another uh, person we had pregnant when we took her over. Hmm. Oh, uh, it's a Karen. I was wondering how they had a bloodline. So if we acknowledge the kid, he ends up losing the bloodline. <laughs> well, we're still going to acknowledge him. Alright. Oh, come on. I knew this was going to happen. Uh, we'll be informed. Dear level crown authority, Lord Alaric will be will have authority to brand you a traitor. Hmm. Here I command you lay down your arms and end your war of aggression. If ignore express command, we will have no choice but this brand new traitor and enemy of the realm. So, I wonder... If we should just do it or not. You know what? Whatever. Sure. I don't understand why that didn't get set down to low, but I, I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't understand with this damn mod. <laughs> My acquaintance, Lord Dorman Estermont, has tried to have Lord Gowan, go whatever, a Rathrock rock arrest, but failed to apprehend him. Lord Gowan has raised his banners in rebellion. So, we're going to concentrate on Dorn. I think I just drive these guys here. Um, yeah, let's just let this time go by, get our men up. Some other dragon rider in the world. It's like random people. Oh, no, she got killed. I guess she was trying to... Uh, hmm, I wonder if she was trying to tame it or not. So that she was fed to the dragon, unless it's a different person. No, that's her. Yeah, I don't see any other. Yeah, she must have killed her dragon rider. I regret the events that forced me to sully my hands in this manner, but unless you swear do not form new factions conspiring against me, I shall have to spread your unsavory secrets to everyone who will listen. Uh, my desires <laughs> might make others think less of me. Like, what desires? What's wrong with us? We're adulterer. Yeah, I think this is an act of desperation. How's he have so many Legion loyalists? Goddamn kid. Uh, ha. You can't scare me. Alright, so we had a daughter. Damn, she wasn't genius. That really sucks. Oh well. Yeah, we'll acknowledge. She's Rhinish too. <laughs> Mother Roin. Alright, so we've had five children. Seems like that was the ambition last time. Um, obtain a dragon egg would probably be good because we're going to get it anyways. So we might as well get the uh, free prestige for it. We could try to make the eight. 
Yeah, it's only 25 prestige. You know what? We're going to do it. The Bale West Reach. We already got Dorne and Stormlands. And we need Iron Islands are going to be the harder one. Because a lot of times they don't want to come here when they're, um, oh, uh, whatever the hell it's called. Drown. Drown Gods. Hell with it. We'll do it. <laughs> Alright, so let's go looking for ladies we could bring here. So we need, uh, women. We will make sure yeah, they're not married or not rollers. So we need a Northman. Maybe we can find a, uh, a Northman first. And we'll just go down the list. There's a bunch of Northman ladies here. Make sure they're not chased, though. Better off if they're lustful. So there we go. And then we need Iron Island. Hopefully we'll get one that are willing to come to our core at least. Ironborn. There's one right off the top. I'd rather them be, uh, not have to pay for them. <laughs> we don't pay here. I'm trying to find... I hate this shit. I hate looking for people. Hmm. I don't see any that are willing to come right now. So we'll work on the Northmen first. We need also uh, the Vale, the West, the Reach. So let's go to the Vale. Oh, we need a West too. So let's see. Can we find a lustful Westernland that isn't 100 years old? She's 21. She'll do. She's a little chunky, but big girls need love too. Um... The Reach. We're sitting here using up all our time finding women. <laughs> Alright, uh, this is going to be the last one because I want time. But matter of fact, I'll pause while I'm looking. Come on, Chunky. You're first. You're first on the list. Alright. You'll be mine. Let me get this woman out the way. She's, we don't really have to impregnate them, so we don't have to worry about if they're too uh, a little old. You'll be next. Stand in line. Alright. Travels being rumor of fire and blood. Says that Zugarian has escaped the dungeons of Alara Waters to build a lair in Brandstone. Uh, ate, ate her dragon rider too. Damn. What a waste. She was genius. I guess she didn't have enough of the tarred blood to hold down the dragon. Alright. And there's our Reachman. Oh, you came with kids. That's not good. Um, you... Yeah, I shall have her. Definitely shall have her. Alright. Our one daughter has a flu. She's stupid and sick. Mm, no, you're just doing your job, buddy. Yeah, I'll confess my love. Alright, we'll let our love grow. So... That was, uh, the Riverlands. Let's get the, uh, the Northern Girl. Or no, this is the Reachman. Let's get you out the way now. Alright, so our heir had a son. A son. Wow, he has twins. Good job. Twin girls, but still. One's quick. So which one's the oldest? Alright, so the, the Valerian quick one is the oldest. So that's good. Hmm. Uh, she has a bit of dragon blood, I think. The blood of Reina Pentos, too. So that's pretty cool. Alright. I'm just gonna leave it the name they want. Olissa. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna make you duty. I make everyone duty. <laughs> Especially the girls, anyways. Alright. Uh, bring my seduction skills to my Lessa. We're going to get this done, hopefully, in this episode. <laughs> oh, no, it's almost over. Never mind. I just looked at the time. I got, like, 20 seconds. All right. We'll at least get a couple them out of the way. So, yeah, we really need to... Uh, I don't know why our manpower is building so slow. It actually went down some. Is it winter here? 
No. That really sucks. How many men does he have? So we'd have like 9,000 against their MS-12. We would definitely win with the dragon. I guess we can start it real quick and then uh, leave it for the next person. All right, the virtue strong in this one. So, oh man, the, the big girl's pregnant. All right, at least we could pass it off and said she ate too much. Start planning our next move. So, I think we start this war and see if the next person can deal with it. Did they, did they have any, uh... Yeah, they don't have any alliances. We had to make sure that Tarly will actually help, though, which he should. Being that it's Dornish. All right, is he in a war right now? Um, this is just a Kingsguard versus the Iron Throne War. I think we'll be okay. Because it looks like his people aren't actually raised, so that's good. Alright. And we have two Dragon Riders, so we shouldn't have a problem whatsoever. Um, let's go ahead and raise the men. How much has our vassals been raised? That's fun. Alright. Let's get these guys here. And we will call in Tarly. And we're going to leave it right there. <laughs> Pretty much took the, uh, let's put them all together at least for him. Took the option away. <laughs> Alright, so now we lost stress, we're depressed. Alright, now we got our men here. We're gonna have, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second. Oh, so they got the, a couple of the DLCs were turned off. And one of the ones that is turned off makes it to where... Um, you can tell the troops to attach to you. If I'm not mistaken, it's not on here. Yeah, that sucks. Not like they listen most of the time anyways. Can you still tell them to siege something? Nope. Alright. So, we're going to stop here. Um, when Vujo takes over, he will be in the start of a war against Dorne. So, he will have to hope Tarly comes and actually helps him. But, uh... Till next time, thumbs up, subscribe, link to the, to the Discord is in the description, and I will see you in the next one later.